Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share five sexy things men love to hear in bed. Hi, Matt Schaefer, your empowerment, connection, and relationship coach. I'm a former attorney who's committed his life to supporting you and creating the sort of fun, fulfilling, dynamic connections and relationships with men that you are so worthy of. And I am excited about this video. It is going to be a hot one. We're gonna be talking about five sexy things that men are craving hearing from you during physical intimacy in bed during sex during all phases of that physical connection these are things that men are dying to hear from you that they're afraid to ask you about so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun but before we dive into it take a second hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to click the link in the comments and caption because i have an exciting free course coming up on february 21st mastery of connection this is going to be a three-week live course absolutely free with over 15 video lessons and 50 hours of live group coaching with me and my team. We're gonna be covering belief work, attachment style, personality type. It's gonna be a transformational experience to help you transform your relationships with men and your relationships with everyone from the inside out. So take a second, click that link and apply because it is going to be a blast. And even if it's after February 21st, click it anyway. We'll be going for three weeks. And uh, if it's after it, we're gonna put you on a wait list for our next course opportunity. So now let's dive into this video. Now, before I share with you these five things that men are craving to hear from you in bed, I wanna give you some general rules you can use when communicating with a man during physical intimacy to make sure it lands with him and drives him wild. And the first rule of communicating with a man in bed is that specifics are hot for us. <laughs> the more specific you can be about what you like, what you want, what you're feeling from him, uh, the more turned on he's going to be and the more he's going to be activated by you. So don't be afraid to get specific. And the second rule to remember is that we are invested in how you feel and we want to make you feel good, especially in bed. So be sure that when you're in bed with a man, you're taking every opportunity to share with him how you're feeling. He will love it, he will appreciate it, and will help him understand how to make you happy. And the third thing it's important to remember when you're communicating with a man in bed is that you are leading by example. So this vulnerability in the way that you're communicating with him about sex and feelings and whatever's coming up for you, whatever you're sharing with him in terms of vulnerability, you're inviting him to share the same with you. So ladies, whatever you're looking to hear from a man or whatever you think is gonna turn you on to hear from him, be, her, be sure to share it with him as well, and it's gonna invite him to meet you there. So now let's dive into the fun. Here are the five things that men are craving hearing from you in bed. I'm gonna share with you what it is, why it's important, and then some examples so you can use them in your life. And be sure to stay towards the end because I'm gonna be sharing a spicy bonus tip on how to communicate with a man in a way that will absolutely make him melt. And the first thing that men are craving hearing from you in bed is how turned on you are. And this is so important because men are not mind readers. We really don't know. We are guessing a lot of the times and we're trying to pick up on signs of whether or not what we're doing is getting your motor running or not. <laughs> so the more clear you can be about the fact that you're activated, the fact that you're getting turned on, the more excited we're going to become and the more polarity is going to increase between you and your partner. And so what does this look like communicating with him how turned on you are? It can be as simple as saying, you're turning me on right now, but why not spice it up a little bit? Remember, men love specifics. So while you're kissing him, tell him how wet you're getting. And get a bo you'll get a bonus point if you actually take his hand and show him <laughs> how wet you're getting. Or another example would be while you're going down on him, looking up at him and telling him how much it's turning you on to be doing that for him and how you can't wait to feel him inside of you. Those are two things. Those are just two of many examples I could give you where if you just share that with him in real time with some eye contact and some sensuality, it is going to activate him to the moon and get him really excited about what's to come. And the second thing men love to hear in bed is how good what they're doing feels to you. 
Why is this important? Well, fundamentally, you must remember that men crave acknowledgement for their actions from the feminine. Men want to be told that they're doing a good job and that what they're doing means something. And this doesn't just apply in your career, right? This applies most definitely and most especially in the bedroom. So what are some examples of acknowledging a man for his actions in bed? Well, one example might be, uh, my nipples are getting so hard from the way that you're kissing my neck. Or touching me like that makes me want to come for you. Or to get a little more PG, you could say, God, I love it when you run your fingertips down the small of my back like that. And I hope you notice how the specificity of what you're sharing about how your body is responding to his actions, it makes the acknowledgement so much more potent and sexy and activating for him. I promise you that. And a little bonus, for, for acknowledging a man for his actions is you're reinforcing his good behavior and you're gonna end up with him doing a lot more of what you want in bed and a lot less of what you don't want. And the third thing men love to hear in bed is specific instructions and requests. Now, why is this so hot? Because fundamentally, men love structure. We love operating within structure. And I want you to think of specific instructions as a roadmap to your pleasure that any man who is securing himself is going to be happy to follow. So what does it look like to give a man specific instructions in bed? Well, I want you to use a very simple framework where you give him acknowledgement and then you give him that instruction or request. So, uh, for example, during oral sex, you can say, oh, I love what you're doing with your tongue. Uh, can you move it up into the right just a little bit and go a little slower? You see, you're acknowledging him for what he's doing right, and then you're giving him just a specific instruction and a little tweak to make it feel even better. And he's gonna happily do that, right? Because at the end of the day, he really wants to make you happy. Or another example would be, say you're having intercourse and you're in the missionary position and you just pull him down and whisper into his ear, this feels so good, baby, but could you please uh, bend me over and grip my hips and really, you know, give it to me from behind. See, something like that, a specific instruction, right? Ask for what you want, own your value, and if you stand for that with a man, A, it's gonna turn him on, B, he's gonna be excited to give you what you want, and C, you're just gonna have a much more fun experience. Everyone's gonna win. And a little added bonus of giving a man specific instructions in bed is if he is unwilling to do that for you, it means he's either deeply insecure or kind of selfish, right? So not the kind of man that you want to be in relationship with, right? So it's a great filter for those sort of guys to get them out of your life and out of your bedroom. And the fourth thing men love to hear in bed is to be asked or begged for their body. Why is this so hot? Well, there are a few things more polarizing, more activating for a man than to be deeply desired by the feminine. So if you're asking for something from him or begging for something from him in a really sensual way, it is going to blast him off big time. So how do we ask a man for his body in a way that is super hot and electrifying for both of you? Well, the first and most obvious way is to ask or beg for whatever part of him that you are craving. So if you're asking for his lips, just tell him, please give me your lips. I would love for you to give me your lips. You know, ask for his cock. <laughs> tell him, uh, please give me your cock. You know, like give just just give him that like deep request of how good it would feel and how much you want it. You know. <laughs> and one of the hottest things that you can ask a man for is to ask for his cum or beg for his cum. I'm just being real with you, ladies. If you do that, if you beg a man for his cum during intercourse or during sex or during at any point in the physical inter interaction between the two of you, it is going to turn him on so much and it is going to activate and polarize the uh, connection big time. And another great way to use requests in bed is asking him for permission to do something to him. And this isn't necessarily, I don't mean this in like the formal consent way. <laughs> I mean this in the sexual, sensual way of asking him, can I suck your cock? Something like that, right? Can I kiss you there? Do you like it when I touch you there? Stuff like that is extremely hot. It's extremely empowering to get into that cycle of, uh, of asking him if he likes that, if you'd like for him to do that. 
Uh, it creates a really fun sort of power dynamic, which is really hot, right? Because maybe he's got a little bit of a kink where he likes being in the dominant position or he likes being in control. So by you asking him for permission and going down that route, you're giving him the opportunity to explore being in that dominant position. So again, not only is this gonna be activating and fun and polarizing, but it might even open up a whole new world of sexual desire and fun between the two of you. A whole new world. And the fifth thing men are craving hearing from you in bed is authentic moaning or other nonverbal expression. We are loving that because trust me when I say there is nothing hotter to a man than hearing those deep uh, releases from a woman that we care about or that we're deeply attracted to. So how do we moan or express ourselves sexually in an authentic way? Well, it starts by giving yourself permission to fully express the pleasure that you're feeling. I know for a lot of women, they've been conditioned to hide their voice. They've been conditioned to play small or to feel almost like embarrassed about expressing the pleasure that they're feeling. All that gets to go out the window because trust me when I say, the man that you are with, he wants to hear it. He wants to feel it from you, right? So give yourself that permission and just allow it to come up. Allow it to flow through you, whether it's a, a deep moan or a little whimper or maybe a whisper. I mean, whatever it is, as long as it's real to you and it's coming from an authentic place, let it go. And if the volume is big, let it rip. <laughs> be loud, you know, just let it out, right? But don't feel like you have to be super loud. That is not necessary because if you're forcing it, if you're pushing it, if it feels fake, uh, it's not sexy and it's the sort of thing men can pick up on. Yes! 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 Ah! Oh! No, seriously, ladies, trust me, men are more intuitive than you think and if you are really hyping it up and overdoing it <laughs> with the moaning because you think it's going to make him happy but it's not real for you, a lot of times men are going to pick up on it and it's gonna actually undermine the trust that you're looking to build in a physical relationship with your partner. All right, so now that I've given you those five sexy things that you can say to a man in bed that will blow his mind, I wanna give you a bonus tip. Now this is something you can use with a man in bed, a form of expression that is going to absolutely make him melt every time. And that tip is, is that when you're giving a man oral sex, when you're giving him a blowjob, moan or make noises while you're doing it. I'm talking very passionate, very deep noises. Don't be afraid to get really into it. Now why is this so hot for a man? First off, it shows how passionate and how into the act of giving him oral sex you are, which again, men really appreciate enthusiasm when it comes to receiving oral sex from a woman. We'll, we'll take enthusiasm over skill any day. We'd much rather have a woman be much more uh, energetically primed and excited about giving us head than a woman who's super good at it, but uh, doesn't really, isn't really into it, right? So it shows how passionate you are about giving him head, which he will love. And secondly, it feels good. It actually vibrates. Like the sound of your moans, the sounds from your throat, they actually vibrate through your mouth onto his penis. And guess what? That feels really good. Good. <laughs> so don't be afraid, ladies, to moan, whimper, make any sort of sexy sounds on his cock while you're going down on him. He will love it. So let's go through these one more time. The first sexy thing men love to hear from you in bed is how turned on you are, telling us how wet you are, telling us how turned on you are, doing it specifically, talking about you know the way that you're responding and reacting, the way your body is to him and just to the thought of being with him or anything like that, it is incredibly hot. We love hearing how turned on you are. And the second thing men love to hear from you in bed is how great what they're doing feels to you. Remember, in all areas of their life, men love being acknowledged for their actions and nowhere is that more important or true than in the bedroom. And the third thing men love to hear from you in bed is specific instructions or requests. 
Do not be afraid to ask for what you want. Write him out a beautiful roadmap to your pleasure and invite him to follow it. If he is a man who is secure in himself, he will happily do so. And the fourth thing men love to hear from you in bed, I will stand by this one till the day I die, is to be asked or begged for our bodies. So asking or begging for his lips, his cock, his cum, whatever it is that you're craving from him, have the courage to ask for it, to beg for it in a sensual way. Don't be afraid to ask him for permission to do sexy things to him by you asking and getting into the dance of having these sexy requests back and forth, it's gonna create a new level of intimacy between you and your partner, a new level of polarity between you and your partner, and just like a whole level of, a new, whole new level of hotness <laughs> in your physical connection with them. And that fifth thing that men are craving hearing from you in bed is authentic, hot, visceral, primal moans and other nonverbal communication. So whatever is authentic for you, give yourself permission to let it out and don't try to like limit the volume. Don't try to overblow it. Don't be over dramatic. Just have it be real and raw and it will turn him on to no end. And then the last tip that I have for you, the bonus tip, is that when you're giving a man a blowjob, feel free to moan, purr, whimper, make any type of sounds on his cock. I promise you, ladies, he will love it. He will love it, and it will be incredibly hot for both of you. So there you go, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this sexy video. Feel free to sound off in the comments and let me know of any communications or phrases or tricks that I may have missed. I'd love for everyone to share in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and do not forget to click that link in the comments and caption, sign up for Mastery of Connection. We are gonna have an incredible experience and it starts just about one month from now on February 21st. So if you wanna have better relationships with men and everyone else in your life, Join us for three weeks of uh, amazing video modules and live group coaching with me around your beliefs, your attachment style, your personality type, and so much more. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.